Hey everybody, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin with myself, Luckless, and what's this girl's name again? Bardo Bardotor? Bardoter? Bardotter. <laughs> Maybe it's Bardotter, I don't know. Bardotter? Bardotter. I don't know. It's probably, that's the Russian pronunciation. Yeah. Uh, but, but you want but where are we? Yeah, so we're in like, uh, <laughs> we went to investigate this crime scene, which I thought was going to be like, Okay, we're gonna look at all the, these little details and figure I out know, like maybe I what know. happened. Uh, but as soon as we walked into the room, there's this stone on the ground that all of a sudden explodes, and it takes us literally into space. So yes, what? Um, it looks like we're surrounded by these statues, and yeah. If we look further down the hallway, there's someone, some kind of. Looks like a goblin. We have a zigzag, so let's let's just Zix go talk to him. Can, yeah, let's do it. What do we have to lose at this point? But th he's got to know something. Terrible, oh. terrible, terrible! It will consume us all. I wouldn't mind using this oh. telescope, to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna approach. Yeah. I'm gonna approach. Go for it. By the quill that lasts a Listen million in. words, what's this? Two Rivalonians here at the end of space and time. How very, very Oh, two Rivalians here. Okay. Okay. Well, because we're from Rivalon, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh okay. <laughs> the obvious question is who are you and how did you get here? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Proper introductions. Zigzag the historian at your service. It is my job to yeah, I was just gonna say. all that was and is and hopefully all that is to be. Uh huh. So what does so that like mean? A, he's like a watcher. As for how I got here, well, for a historian appointed by the gods themselves, hopping to the end of time is as easy as one, two, three. I bet it is. How you got here, though? That's a rather more interesting question. I bet he has more of an understanding of how we got here than we do. On such a tiny and rapidly shrinking vestige of space and time, I wouldn't have expected to find a soul but my own shadow. Okay, so why is this place, as you say, shrinking? Ah, at last a question I can answer most definitively. I mentioned already that this place is the end of time. If that didn't send your heart into your stomach and your pulse a flutter, it should have. <laughs> what? The end of time and it's sh gradually shrinking. Okay. Yeah, that's that seems reasonable. Time so it's coming to an end. Naturally to have no end at all. Indeed, I can think of no worse nightmare for a chronicler such as myself. But something totally, utterly terrible has happened. So I think we're finding out the larger quest here. Yeah, I think so. Which is probably why we have the undead, we have the orcs, all that stuff. So how can time come to an end exactly? In plain Rivalonian words. Show, don't tell, I always say. So go, peer through yonder looking lens, and feast your soon-to-be-terrified eyes on the darkness that is approaching. Oh. That's foreboding. Uh-huh. You know, I think that imp may be quite, quite mad. Have a look through the looking then we'd better lens. appease him. What? My, uh, my game just minimized. Oh. No, we're good, though. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. So, do you want me to look through? Go for it, man. You seeing this? Oh, maybe we can both look. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing it. I just saw like a... I want to say a dragon. A dragon. You yeah, looked. like a... You saw almost like a bone dragon fly out of a wormhole. Oh. What's this? The portal! It's... It's... To the Homestead oh, Hall. The portal has become active. Fantastic. Astounding. Onward we should go. Okay. Uh, I'm going to check All out right. what he's got going on over here before. Yeah. There's bottles of beer and wine. He's got There's vials here. Pillow. 
Picking up some pillows. I'm taking all these vials. I'm, I'm just gonna take a nap. <laughs> I took a, <laughs> I took, I just took a rack of his vials. Okay. <laughs> of course he did. His desk is empty. Weird. There's more uh, bottles of wine and beer here. Maybe you didn't grab them. Well, I mean, I guess we just jump in there. The portal. Yep. It's quite sprung oh, to life, to? just like the long dormant flames that decorate this observatory. After all my waiting and hoping, could it be? So he's. So I guess we had something to do with the activation of the portal. You yeah. You must be the key. Something about your presence here is causing the end of time to grow. The true end itself to move further away. Okay, well that's a good thing. Comforting. Yeah, that's, oh, that's comforting. That's great. We, we're the, uh, we're the prophecy foretold, man. This is like no pressure. Uh, those torches. I can handle it. This portal active once more. It cannot be coincidence. Okay, so what is it that exactly we saw through that uh, lens? Goodness me, how right you are. There's so much to take in, I've nearly forgotten. And what you saw has been haunting my mind since I first discovered it. It is the void itself. The dragon that is devouring creation. When I speak of the end of time, this is exactly what I mean. I wonder if it's supposed to be a literal dragon or if that's supposed to be like symbolic. I think it's like a like the dragon is the void. And he's like, as he's, I don't know. I think he's being literal. Like we saw it. I don't know. We'll find out. I can't say for sure where it came from, how or why, but I do know this. It's shrinking our future by the second. And if we don't stop it, it will devour the past and present as well. So you devour think the past? Like, well, huh. I guess it's time, right? So it's just everything's yeah. gone. Um. And you think that we're somehow connected to this plane. Can you explain? It's not that I believe, it's that I have seen. Long have I been waiting here, hoping that one day this very portal would ignite. Then, no longer than a few mere moments after you arrive, zap it goes. The chronicler of time knows a pattern when he sees one. And what's beyond the portal? Ah! Though I cannot say for certain, if it is what I believe, then our prayers might well be answered. In fact, every last question that ever plagues your noggin might well be answered, for I believe what lies beyond this portal is nothing other than... <laughs> Tell us! Cliffhanger! Yes. But why spoil Oh, you mystery? mother. Oh. As soon as we leap through, we'll find out <laughs> for certain. All right, let's after do it. You, after you, yeah, we must. Oh, what wonders we may find on the other side. I mean, this could just be a trap, and we would never know. Because I'm diving in there head first. Ready? Yeah. Going. I'm ready. Yes! Just as I hope. Oh. There she is. Oh. There it is. Come, come. So he's never been this way before. No, but he has a... He seems to know what's down here. Like, he has an idea. Oh, it looks like there's another stone here, maybe? Uh, there's a guy named the Some Weaver tiles. of Time here. Oh, wow. Hold on. Let's just... Don't click on him yet. I just want to see what look around the frick it. is happening here. There's some more portals. They're all inactive. Inactive portals. There's that thing in the middle, that statue. Yeah, and with it's... some in tiles, it looks like. I see that as well. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think that this is maybe like, um... Some like type a of, nexus, right? Yeah, like a hub or something. Yeah. That will take us to other worlds? I don't know. Cool. Looks like there's one big stairwell that goes up to a tree. Where do you see that? Or oh, some yeah. kind of statues. Yeah, like back the to the right. Part. Yeah. Depends on your perspective, I guess. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, cool. You want to go ahead and talk to him? I'll listen in. Yeah, let's do it. The Weaver of Time, Mother of History, author of all that has ever been. Indeed, Sir Imp. 
As surely as you are he who chronicles all that I weave. Sounds yeah. like, uh, sounds like Dark Souls, man. I don't know, I just got yeah. heavy Dark Soul vibe. Dark Souls vibe for sure. Astounding. All about time. Unbelievable. I have so many questions for you. So much to ask, so much to say. You have brought guests, I see. Strange. Very strange guests. Hmm, how are we strange? My reaction exactly, milady. It was their <laughs> arrival here at the end of time that instigated my finding you. But why? Surely you must know. This is a question better put to our guests themselves. Tell us, how did you arrive upon <laughs> this plane? It was a stone, a strange stone that zapped us from where we stood in Rivalon to this plain among the stars. Yeah, but why doesn't she know this? I know. So, it was a stone that caused the great shock of energy that brought you here, and it infused you with new life as well. Uh... Is that so? With new life? Okay. I uh, don't have any option. Yes, that's just what happened. Have you seen it before? Not like hmm. this, no. What happened to you is unique in all my work. Never had I experienced something so contrary to my nature. To weave something I had not seen, had not expected. Life does not simply spring into existence, you see. But yours has. You appeared before me from the moment you came into contact with that stone. Starstone. I now know it to be called Starstone. Starstone. Okay. okay. <laughs> but, Madam Weaver, how is it possible? Do you not see all? Have you not woven all that is and could ever be into your tapestry? Clearly not. Like the stones, your guests are a mystery to me. I see them before me in this world. But their likenesses appeared not upon my tapestry until they revived the stone. Okay. Source hunters, it would seem that yourselves and Starstone are inextricably linked. Why oh, the source and hunters, how, maybe. I cannot say. But I do believe that finding more stones will reveal to me who you yourselves truly are. I'd like to believe what is Starstone. I'd like to believe that it's just us and not all the stars, all the source hunters, but I mean. Yeah, yeah, me too. The way that she's putting it though, she's kind of saying like all the source hunters. Yeah. I don't I know. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. What is a star stone exactly? Where does it come from? Star stone is not what it seems, source hunter. Its true nature must be part of a greater secret, a secret lost even to me. Do you see what violence my work has suffered? What wounds lay upon the tapestry of time? So that's the tapestry above her. Okay. I think, I think that's what that is, right? I don't know. I th yeah, Looks that like makes she's sense. gradually working on it as well. Mysteries of all time. Gaps in history. Oh, how they've tormented me for eons. It would appear that Starstone transforms at your touch, granting me new thread by which to mend the tapestry. Thus, it restores time itself. Cool. I see what the void would shrink, Starstone restores. Yes, though I cannot explain why this Starstone is the antidote to the Void's ravishment of our realm. I guess also, like, why was there a Starstone at that crime scene? That's what I'm interested in. Well, that's it. And, like, was it was it placed there? Was it there previously? Um, was it instrumental in in the, his, the guy's death? I don't know. It's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting. So we'll find out. If we do not restore time, if we do not discover the true nature of these stones, the void will consume us all. These stones can heal history, we must seek them out. Indeed you must, though I may not yet understand why. 
It seems that you and you alone can unlock the powers within Starstone. Yet we are not the only entities who know these stones to be so much more than pretty gems. So it does sound like it's only us that can do it. Yeah. Why, of course, that's what they were doing. I have recorded their doings, you see, collectors of Starstone, more and more by the day. Now I understand. They'd keep the stones from our reach. They'd prevent the mending of time. Without these stones, Hunter, there will be no Rivalon. The entire tapestry will crumble. Even this plane will fall victim to the Void's insatiable hunger. Hmm. That shall never be, milady. As sure as Zix comes before Zax, we will <laughs> sure put Zix a comes stop before to Zax. it. <laughs> First, we mend the tapestry, then we stop the Void. I wonder who's hunting for them. These are most mysterious guests. Wow, maybe the orcs? Undead? Are you willing? Yeah. Must have something Will to do with it. Will you hunt out the stones? Will you help us restore what has been lost? Hmm. <laughs> what if we're like, no, nope, we're going fishing. You, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Log up, dude. Oh, I guess we have to talk to each other. Do tell. Not but a moment ago, we were hunting Source in Rivalon, and now we're being told that we alone can prevent the end of time by way of some magical stones. What do you make of it? Hmm. I love that the we dual dialogue is voiced. Starstone. There yeah. must be something to all of this, mad as it may seem. I mean... No matter how improbable, Anything is possible. If the Weaver tells the truth, we have some serious work ahead of us. No kidding. Romantic. Oh, oh, yeah. Romantic. So, Ooh, yeah. while so, that discussion think, was happening, I noticed there's some things going on over here. Um, there's these. There's a gold cup and a light gold teaspoon that are what worth quite be, a bit. Oh yeah, always looking for loot. Eh? Oh yeah, big time. So I'm grabbing these. I'm gonna check. <laughs> so we're just stealing from them. No, I'm not stealing. <laughs> I'm just. Oh right, it's not red. It's, I'm it's not, not red. stealing. Red. And there's 300 Sorry. gold in these books that I'm taking. That's so funny because you notice that, and I'm looking at the tapestry, and you can see all these, um, like the holes. Missing. Yeah, all the holes, right? You want to check the other bookshelf? No, yeah, they, I did. There oh. was a. Uh, what was it? There was a scroll. Blank fire scroll. Two. What do you okay, think? you want to hook so me up with that? It can be used to create a random fire spell scroll. I'll, I'll send that over to you. Yeah, sure. Um, I also see... What it be, Source Hunter? Do tell. There's a chest over here. Yeah, and it's like, it says last chest. What the hell? I'm talking so, to it. What do you think, Source Hunter? How are you talking to it? I just clicked on it. So it says, I am the last chest, the last chest, the last chest. If you believe yourself worthy of rifling through my ample treasures, I do dare you to prove it. Find my four sisters, no more than one in each of the realms of your wide world. And each by each, you'll discover how to open me. Oh, cool. cool. Okay. Yeah, I didn't have the option to talk to it. Oh, there we do. Yeah, okay, got it. Thanks. All right, so... What do you think? I guess we got to go back and tell them that we're going to do it after we've discussed it. Let's do the it. The glint in your gaze and the set of your brow suggest to me that you've not given up the on your gaze and the set of your brow Rivalon. suggest to me that you've not, not given up on our yet. old, our dear, dear old Rivalon. Not just yet. No, with you searching out Starstone, I believe we'll mend the tapestry in no time. We'll find out just who you are and how exactly to send the void back to wherever it came from. But you'll need a way to travel between Rivalon and this homestead, won't you? Who wouldn't want to see what fantastic changes your search will yield? And who knows what the Weaver might discover about you? Luckily, the power of portals is known to you, so I'll let you in on the little secret of how to transport back and forth from the end of time. <laughs> and just so you know, don't go share. I'd like to know that. It's just a little secret. Never know who yeah. we can trust these days. Off you go then. You've Starstone to find, and I've a tapestry to examine. 
Surely there must be some clue here as to how on earth you're related to the end of time. Yeah, okay, but the Weaver of Time said... Our finding Starstone helps her weave the tapestry once more. How is that even possible? Cross my heart, hope to fade in the void, I honestly don't know. But ask her. If she claims it is so, perhaps she knows why. Okay. Like the imp said to the ballista operator, shoot. Okay, this is intense. <laughs> Uh, if I'm supposed to search for the Starstone, it'd probably be a good idea to know where to start, and you probably could tell Wouldn't me. Wouldn't it just? Would that I had a Starstone sightseeing guide, but alas, such a booklet does not exist. That's helpful, thanks. Just like yourselves, Starstones are curiously absent from history, both in my writings and on the Tapestry of Time. From what I can gather, though, they were once cherished by devious sorcerers whose reign ended long ago. The stones okay. are therefore most likely to be found in the ancient places of this world. Okay. Ruins, caves, the lairs of long-forgotten evils. Those are the dens you should frequent. Two Sound more welcoming. pieces of advice. Don't go unarmed and consult with my agent. <laughs> Who's your agent? <laughs> uh, you say you're an imp historian, but you seem more than a mere imp and more than a mere historian. Oh, I don't know if I'm more than those things per se, but having been given a divine mission does have its perks. True. Old age can't touch me, that's one. Immortality is mine, as long as no one skewers me with a sword. And even oh. then, I'll be back in a jiffy. Immortality? Okay. But of course, I have a price to pay for something that is priceless. It is my duty to record all of history. And an arduous task, that is. Not to mention how much stress that void out there is causing me. The end of time. I'll be out of a job. <laughs> and that's, of course, the worst thing. Yeah, I was going to say, right? that's like the the worst thing that could happen to you. That's so great. gather those star stones so that we may know the history that was lost. Know so that we must not repeat what leads us to this dangerous precipice. And but so he can keep his job. Better and close the dark eye of the void forever. Unemployed imps are the worst kind of imps. I know. Uh, I still don't understand how the Starstone and the Void Dragon are related exactly. Neither do I. But the mere fact that activated Starstone has set the Weaver of Time weaving again more than implies that it and the Void Dragon are natural enemies. I, I just thought of something too. Like, we're going to have to explain to that Aureus guy that this just Aureus? happened. <laughs> like, sure believe us. Yeah, no, there's no, we're, I don't yeah. think we should even mention it. This in turn, more than <laughs> This is like Vegas. You are the void's yeah. natural enemy, for it is you who is setting new events in motion. You who is handing the weaver new threads. And that which she is weaving is more than an ornament to decorate the shelter plane. It is both history and future history. So it this is, is called the shelter plane. Okay, well, that kind of makes sense. Um, we're safe here, right? So, I think. Why are there four chairs? You think that's a Good bit strange? Question. I think that's a bit weird. It is. We may not understand the how yet, but our aim is clear. We shall save creation from the grip of the void. Now, isn't that a lovely mission? I have an idea of why they're, what purpose they'll have later on, but we'll see if it pans out. Would well, you think it's those four sisters or whatever from the chest? Maybe. Oh, we'll yeah? We'll see if it pans out, I would say. Well, that's kind of what I was thinking. That's what I, I mean, whatever. <laughs> uh, don't you find it somewhat lonesome being the sole chronicler of time? Lonesome, observing the frontier of creation, surfing the vibrant tide of the eons, always approaching yet never reaching shore. Lonesome being privy to all that has been and all that is. 
Well, yes, actually. I don't mean to complain, <laughs> but one certainly doesn't mind a bit of company now and then. Perhaps you can imagine the profound pleasure it is to have made the weaver's acquaintance after no, like, this all is mind-blowing for him, too, I think. I can hardly yeah. wait to pick her brain about the great Look, his ears are shaking. The, <laughs> Sigurd, the last Rivalonian who remembers it died more than 7,000 years ago. What? Okay. Damn. If you just look at his ears, it makes me kind of uncomfortable. Before you go, so <laughs> a final word. Once you return to Rivalon, there will be someone waiting for you. My agent, my oh. eyes and ears <laughs> upon your world. It's probably a like a muskrat or a beaver. I hope you'll be able to <laughs> like an animal. I hope it's a beaver. <laughs> remind you is of the essence like i don't know why the first animal that comes to mind is a muskrat but that's i don't know i just feel like that's that would be fitting for him yeah okay zigzags told you the secret of waypoint travel use the rift travel button to travel to any waypoint shrine you've discovered just like at any time, the lady of time. I, I wish i had a rift travel button you don't history, I <laughs> i'm in real life oh <laughs> yeah you don't <laughs> Uh, you've opened the homestead travel menu. This works like a waypoint portal. Select the end of time to travel to your homestead. Okay, so he sat in one of the chairs. Right. Available. So, sister theory out the window? Yeah. But I have another theory. What is it? Let's see what the time has said. You want me to tell you? I hope you begin to find this place more familiar. Why don't I tell you? Why don't we play through the game and I'll tell you if I'm right or not at the end? Well, you have, what? Like, do you know? <laughs> no, I don't know. Well, then, what does it matter? Um, I think we're probably going to occupy those chairs at the end of the game. Oh. After we win. Okay. Okay, I could get into That's that. That's my guess. I could get into guess. that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so let's ask her about herself. Obviously. In the ethereal threads of eternity. Do I record the deeds of gods and men, of beasts and spectral apparitions, the drift of continents through changing seas, the rise and fall of empires, the shift of every grain of sand on every beach, the fall of every raindrop on every world, the all but imperceptible touch of lovers' hands. This and all I chronicle without faults. She must be exhausted. <laughs> so everything. I wonder she's sitting Got all the it. time. So you're God. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Except, it seems, you. But she's not a God. That's what's really interesting, right? Like, we, we haven't found out too much about the gods of this land, which uh, right. is really interesting to me. And she also knows nothing about us, so we're, we're kind of like this unknown to them as well, which I guess puts us in power. Hey, I'm going to- You know what else is interesting is that Zigzax is actually a higher level than her. Yeah, that is weird. <laughs> no, wait. Uh, she's just showing level question mark to me. Oh, I've got level 20. Really? Oh, I bet just because you're a friggin' lore master. Maybe. That's cool. Uh, I'm going to see what she could trade. She has, like, stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, she has a needle. She has thread. And she can, has, weave our, can we weave our own time with right? that needle and thread, I wonder? And she has yeah. pixie dust, originally gathered from the dwellings of pixies. It's best not to think too hard about the origins of this dust. Uh-oh. <laughs> Should I buy one of these? How much is it? Uh, let me see. To buy one, 228 gold. Gold stuffs. Um, it's like half my gold. But I mean, Guess so. I'm going to buy one. You never know. We can always get it any time, though, right? Yeah, can we? Yeah, we could just come back to her, right? Yeah. Why don't we get it when we have more money? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Seems you. Okay. Uh, there are more questions Ask, I have for you. And I shall answer, if I can. So, if I understand this correctly, we're not at all featured on your canvas of time thing. Quite so. Your absence. It should be an impossibility. But no matter where I look, you cannot be found. Okay. I do not know Weird. you, which makes you my one perennial imperfection. A blind spot in the eye of time. 
But perchance I may be cured of this blindness. Perchance the blemish may be undone. And time can be redeemed. But if you're saying that we can help you to redeem time or fix time, how can we do that if we're not even a part of it? I think that perhaps you can redeem time because you create time. Indeed, mm. you have set in motion an event I no longer held possible. What do you mean, uh, like what? That doesn't make any sense. Weird. Know that no longer I did weave. I sat here at the end of time and watched on as the void frays the fabric of time like a terrified god that fears the offspring of his so own creations. So she just gave up, I guess? Is that what she said? Yeah, she went far enough into the future and then stopped, I guess. But suddenly there was you. You who stirred the life within the stones. These stones, children of stars, they place new ribbons along my fingers like phantoms out of time. New threads emerged, and I began to weave anew. Starstone gives me new strands to braid into the tapestry. And because you give Starstone energy, it seems that you are creating time. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, I'm with you. These gotcha. Starstones. Please. Seek them so that time may yet be mended. Please, for the sake of all that lives and all that loves, seek them so that the void may yet devour itself alone. So, two questions about Starstone. Why is it so important and why does it react to just me and my colleague? Alas, the answers to those questions still elude me. You and Starstone remain the imperfections upon the tapestry. As yet. Okay. Does not know. A hidden answer lies behind this veil of inscrutability, though. For the link between you and the stones reveals that your destinies are intertwined. I believe that star stones will not lead you to new places of wonder only. No. They will also lead to new knowledge through the restoration of the threads of old. Okay. And can I call you anything other than the Weaver of Time? I am the Weaver of Time. As Guess I not. Have told you. <laughs> no. My existence How about Weave? Yeah. Behind, How about Watt? For short. The verb to be. <laughs> the Watt. I like it. I am but what I am, and that is task. It is the same for the historian. Task with capital T. Chroniclers both yeah. are we of the epics of eternity. Chroniclers both are we of the epics of eternity. Those are good, like, cool. metal band song lyrics. Perhaps yeah. we are one and the same. Task multiplied by two. Who has made us? I what? don't know. Why have they done so? Oh my god. I don't know. I feel, my mind's on fire. You know, like, I feel like my brain is that tapestry right now, being ripped yeah. to shreds by that void dragon. <laughs> Am I the beginning? And am I to be the end? Who shall say? Perhaps I am the first thing in creation. Perhaps I am creation. Perhaps I am the creator. Or maybe it is you. You who makes dying stars rekindle. Time alone will tell. So, okay. We've heard, okay. We've heard this place called <laughs> the end of time. Uh, is that what it is, like, no more, no less? What it is, is but a seed bereft of sun and water. What it could be, that is what the star stones will tell us. What it is, is but the end. What it could be, is the end of ends. <laughs> what? What about the end so of ends of ends? Yeah, like, she doesn't know. No. She doesn't know what's going to be discovered by these stones, right? It could be the end. I mean, that's all she needs to could. say, though. Yeah. I reside in another realm altogether. But ever since the end of time appeared in these deep, dark skies, I materialized here, as if forced to watch the one thing that is unwatchable, unendurable. A thankless task that you may yet free me from forever. Okay. Last question, it might be a bit silly, but aren't you a bit, like, alone out here for all of eternity? <laughs> oh, Hunter, 
I have no need for company. Like I have no need for air or appetite or affection. All I need and all I am is time. And time is running out unless you remedy its decline. And yet, I do enjoy your companionship. For you may prove to become the cure pretty good to people. heal my slipping soul. We're pretty awesome. Yeah. I'm gonna take my leave though, thanks. Uh let's get out nice of here. Nice talking to you. Yeah. We've we've got wow. we've got things to do, people to see, lives to wow. save. Yeah. Uh should we Where just we go now? I guess we just hop back into this portal that we came from. Oh dude, there's like a whole other subsection of Oh, this is the tree you were talking about. Yeah, did you finally uh, yeah, yeah, see that? Yeah, I see it. That seems uh, important. Alright. Oh, they're having a conversation. Who? What are they talking about? It's exacts. What are they they're saying? They're just talking about their jobs, kind of. Oh. <laughs> so what do you do here? <laughs> yeah. How's life? Alright, I'm gonna okay, jump. Well, I guess... Yeah, go ahead. Uh, where are you? Oh, you're gonna jump back into, uh... The portal that we came from? Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing where that takes us. I think it goes, it says to the observatory. Can okay. we look in here again? We can. You probably just see the same thing, or? Yeah, the same thing. Okay. Dragon flying out of the void. And then, cool. how do we get out of here, though? I think if you click on that rift oh, travel button, right. okay. you can travel to any of those waypoints. And it says the end of time. Is that this place? That's this Pretty place. Pretty sure. Let's click on it. Let's see. see what happens. Yeah, yeah, okay, great. Takes it's, us right back to her. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, uh, I'll tell you what. Let's take a break here. And then when we come mm -hmm. back, we'll just teleport back into uh, probably the harbor, I guess. Or the north gate. Probably the north gate. Yeah. And then we'll go and figure out what we want to do. All right. That Sounds was uh, mind-blowing. And uh, hopefully yep. we get some answers sooner rather than later. Take care, guys. See ya. The fuck? What the fuck? What just happened? <laughs> what is that? It says party animal. What is a party animal here? <laughs> what is that? I don't know. What? Uh. There's I, another one. I can't talk to it. There's wait, another. Wait, there's what? There's another party animal. Another cat. Where the? F what the shit? Why do we have party animals? Where's it going? I don't know. It's going into these know. portals. Oh my god. Wait. I can activate this portal. It says forbidden zone. Can we activate all of them? No. I don't think I want to touch this. The party animal went there though. Man. And it's right next to that tree. Animal. It's right next to that tree. Um, questionable? Look, he's- I don't know. All these things are going into the forbidden zone. That's where the party is. Okay. Apparently. <laughs> we're- we're not going into the forbidden zone. That is not happening. We have to increase our party level, I think, before we go in there. Yeah, it could be. Okay. Uh, that's good. I record- I recorded that bit, by the way. Yeah, me too. 